Dr. Jangir and you are watching me on my YouTube channel that is Dr. Jangir Khan. Uh, when I have started a series of lectures on the chest radiology, especially the chest x-ray, and you can watch the whole playlist of these x-rays in the description below. You can watch the link to these videos. So today we are going to discuss uh, another very important video. So if you see this x-ray, the patient presented with the chief complaint of shortness of breath. When this patient is already diagnosed case of a rheumatoid arthritis for the last 10 years, and the patient is on methotrexate for the same duration. Now, if you focus on this x-ray, the first thing that comes into your mind is this thing. And this was the reason the patient was referred for the CT scan. And what was labeled? It was labeled as a huge mediastinal mass. Now, what do you see? Now, if you focus on this x-ray, you will encounter these kind of x-rays in OPD, in the emergency. And you will be amazed to know what is the finding, actual finding of this x-ray before going into the detailed study like a CT chest. Now, if you focus this mass above, if you can see over here, can you trace this from above downward? Now, what is this? This is occupying the chest and extending up, upward, and this is circular. And this obese, uh, this is female, so you can appreciate the, the bra straps over here. This is a female. These are the strips uh, of the bra. So, this is actually a pendulous structure that is extending from the chest. So, uh, I hope this that is called the breast. So this is actually the breast shadow. This is not huge mediastinal mass. So before jumping into the diagnosis, so you must sure 100% before going into the uh, diagnosis of huge mediastinal mass. Now, if you focus on this, you can uh, actually draw that from the top. So this is not a huge mediastinal mass. The second abnormality that you see in this is the decrease lung volume bilaterally. But more on, the, on this side. Now we know if a patient uh, is a diagnosed case of rheumatoid arthritis, so you should think of ILD, interstitial lung disease. Now there are two types of ILD in case of rheumatoid arthritis. The one is related to the interstitial lung disease. The one is related to the connective tissue disorder, the rheumatoid arthritis itself. That is called connective tissue disease related ILD. Another is the side effect of the methotrexate. If the person is on the methotrexate for a long time, that leads to the fibrosis. So, over here, the decrease in lung volume is because of what? Is because of either ILD due to uh, rheumatoid arthritis or ILD due to methotrexate. But volume loss on the right is more. So, you should think there is abnormality over here. So what does, which abnormality is lying in the right subcostal region under the right hemidiaphragm? So there be, there are th three differential. One is the subpulmonic effusion. One can there be a fluid accumulation that is called subpulmonic effusion. So it can be pleural effusion. The second abnormality is a liver related. The liver might be enlarged. Liver might be enlarged. The third abnormality is phrenic narrow palsy. Friend and narrow palsy can also give rise to elevation of the right hemidiaphragm. So, what is the best next step? The best next step that is easy to done is to ultrasound to exclude the pleural effusion. And the best next step after ultrasound is HRCT to exclude ILD. Exclude ILD. But why not CT with contrast? The problem is for CT with contrast is done for cancer and infection, not for ILD. If you want to look at the uh, parenchyma of the lung, you should do HRCT. Now, when should you do HRCT and when should you do CT with contrast? In order to know the answer, I have already uploaded a video on that. The link is given in the description below. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe my channel and also uh, press the bell icon so that you can get notification of my new video.